It happens. This is boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Son, that rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, you know? And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! Remember what you told 
So we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the sensational Cuban Joel Savone. You know, I heard a lot of experts ringside talking about the lack of experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion, and you have to wonder and ask yourself, will the nerves of Andre Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled against such a worthy opponent? Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see made throughout the fight? Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power puncher. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Round number one, and he's already down. Savone's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Teddy, I did you see that? And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? What a big win for Andre Bishop. He is able to knock out the nine-time defending gold medalist, Joel Savone. You can already imagine what's going to be said about Andre Bishop as he launches his pro career ahead. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. <laughs> gold medal, baby. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm going to be right where he is now. <laughs> Like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's not hey, just being... Hey, Bishop Brothers are in the house. Big Baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter in these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, McQueen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. 
Now, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Meg. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Meg. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We have a big card for you tonight, and a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against Remember, the KG guys, veteran, my Lucius Palmer, from here at Let's the Aragon Ballroom fight. in Touch Chicago. Stay with us for that. Everybody in this arena has been looking forward to this moment. The opening moments of Andre Bishop's pro career. So much hype, so many expectations. Stands opposite Lucius Palmer right now. Of course, all that hype built on the foundation of a gold medal at the World Amateur Games. Good block by Palmer. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Body. Body. Teddy, in your training career, when you've gone up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's going to get knocked out. Stay away from that power. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. corner there it is there he goes he goes down from that headshot bomber's back up on his feet what will he look like in the next few moments of this fight that's the big question hits him in the mug with the right Good double jab by Andre Bishop. Wow! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. get better than that to start your pro debut. Andre Bishop knocks out Lucius Palmer. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. I don't believe in building a record fighting nobodies. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs no more. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. We're gonna take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. 
Because if you can stop these guys, I'm going to be impressed. But if you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm going to be disappointed. Bobby Kid, I want to see these guys on the floor. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. And Andre Bishop okay, keep all that momentum. We Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We're here to answer that question for you at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans, Louisiana. Coming off his pro debut win against Lucius Palmer, now Bishop moves forward against Mike Walker. Keep working the body. Solid. Mike Walker's in a tough spot now. Down on the canvas. How will he recover? One, one, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch. Put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to. Look at that. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Walker's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world to this fight. Mike Walker's going to... Oh! And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. You saw it coming. Problem is, he didn't see it. The capital. We send it up to the ring. What a perfect ending for a perfect night for him. A TKO victory. So well, that's what happens when you do your homework. I mean, obviously, you can see he came in well prepared from the gym. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going, friend. At 2-0, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has ours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. they get it. Round one underway. When we get matchups like this, guys that just won't quit. Rosario's dazed after that punch. Oh, he's hurt. Big shot. Perfectly executed combination. Rosario's down. He's going to have to beat the count. Rosario's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Hey, if you can... Oh! And he goes 
goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say you got some my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? Will Keyshawn Hayes be able to stop the Andre Bishop Express? Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall to see if Bishop can move his mark to 4-0 as he faces Keyshawn Hayes. Dressing room. Let's touch gloves. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's gonna try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. Wow, just like the old timers, a four-punch combination. Hayes is able to land a nice clean left hand. Solid, picture-perfect combination, and he is floored. Well, the old times would say you can hit a guy with two. Why hit him with one? One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, Mike. Big shot there. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Oh, a damaging left hook by Keyshawn Hayes gets to Andre Bishop. Double jab, such a useful tool, especially to the body like that. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Keep it going. And just looking to chop down his opponent. A forceful hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Hayes has got to do a better job. Big, big shot he just scored with. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Bishop gives Keyshawn Hayes a taste of his own medicine. The big hitter was hit hard. A knockout victory for Bishop. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. 
What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Hey, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois for a much anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop okay, guys. is a hot we rising the prospect. The dressing room. Will Let's Bishop touch shine in the spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this moment now this. have prepared him for this team. moment. Good, strong combo. interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Bishop's full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's going to have to. He got hit, but he sends it right back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Andre Bishop's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Blocks away that headshot. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. He thinks he's got a chance to end this fight right now. You can see he's doubling up the power punches. Yeah, that's what's going to get it done for him, too. Instead of one or two at a time, now he's putting them together. And he ties up on the inside. Some bite to it, that right hand by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good doubling up of the jab by Andre Bishop. To the head he goes with a left hand. Stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. He snaps that jab out. Kid, the judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. The queen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Here we go. Round two is underway. Here in round number two, you get... Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. And 
from long range, he's able to get his target he wanted. And when you have somebody throwing long punches, what you don't want to do is what he did. Pull back straight. He scored well after being hit himself. Hey, keep your hands and you up. see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Bishop's found the punch up. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know the way. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Two snapping jabs by Andre Bishop. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. A well played big shot. The right came clean. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying... That's a huge left he just scored with. Solid right by Andre Bishop. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. A little head hunting. With the... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. And he catches a lucky break. Good job. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? Big right hand. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. He is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because he's... Oh, and a big right hand lands. In a later stage of the fight like we have right here, when you see one guy consistently getting hit with the right hand, what is the answer? Move your head. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he yeah, does that. Good work. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on. That's a big right hand there. He got to him. He hurt him there. Bishop's opponent is trying to smother him, but instead, he's pushing him away, trying to land a big shot. And he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. How about that four-punch combination? Good left hand able to land. Solid right, but he did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Andre Bishop's doing a huge right hand comes crashing home. Hooked, Andre. It's there for it. Here we go with the fourth round. Bishop's opponent has to be thinking, I gotta find a way. Oh, and there you go. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. 